Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a scene that was abandoned from the Lost World Jurassic Park. One that Steven Spielberg would vocally express regret in letting go of in the final film. So back when the original Jurassic Park became a mega hit, everyone the world over was heavily anticipating the sequel. Originally, Steven and Kep had kind of just planned to do their own thing until Michael Crichton announced to the world that he'd begin working on his own sequel to his original novel. His reasoning for doing so was due to fan pressure and anticipation for where the story could go after the first book had ended. Contrary to the popular belief that Spielberg was actually the one who had convinced him into writing the book. Steven himself actually commented on The Lost World back in 1990 when a USA Today reporter told him that it was close to being released. You bring me good news. I hadn't wanted to bug him about it, said the director. Of course, when the Lost World novel did eventually get released, much of it would be discarded when the translation to film was underway. Upon initial release, this polarized fans of the original Jurassic Park movie, with angry websites being made in protest against Steven Spielberg for getting rid of much of what was in the book. Now, I had no idea stuff like this was going on in the late 90s, but that's because I was a really little kid that didn't even know these movies were being based off of books at the time. Anyways, after The Lost World came and went, Jurassic Park 3 would soon be released a short four years later. And due to the pretty minuscule box office returns it received when compared to its older siblings, the series was put on ice pretty quickly. Fast forward to 2005 at USC, where Steven Spielberg would give a talk about Jurassic Park 4 and how that film was coming along. During this time, he brought up a scene in the Lost World novel that was not included in the movie. This scene would have involved characters on motorcycles outrunning raptors. He then said he regretted it not being in his Lost World film. However, he also said, quote, that scene is in Jurassic Park 4. So obviously, Steven Spielberg felt pretty serious about this omission from the film since he was able to openly talk about it to the public nearly 10 years after its release. It's no real surprise to me that Spielberg really wanted to include more ideas from Crichton in the later sequels since we've been seeing that very thing play out in the newer Jurassic World films, particularly in Fallen Kingdom. Speaking of the new Jurassic World films, Frank Marshall actually got to sit down with Slash Film a few years ago and talk about the Lost World director's thoughts on this omitted scene from the second movie. And that interview contained the following. Whose idea was it to involve the trained raptors? That was Steven's idea, says Marshall. In November 2005, Spielberg said there would be a scene with characters on motorcycles outrunning the raptors. And it's just interesting that it's evolved into their running with the raptors now. Right, replied Marshall. And there were a lot of ideas in this movie which I thought was clever with Derek and Colin where they were able to take Steven's original ideas and incorporate them into the story that they wanted to tell. So it looks like even though Spielberg felt regret in cutting that scene from the second movie, he eventually came through with his promise in 2005 when he said that scene is in Jurassic Park 4. Even after they'd already implemented that particular motorcycle scene in the film, I also find it interesting that Colin wrote a vehicle chase where the animals tear through the jungle after Claire and the kids soon after. Which really gives the raptors far more to do than what they had in the first sequel from 1997, which was another thing fans complained about. Now, I've said before in the past that I don't really think people realize how much Spielberg is actively involved in the Jurassic World trilogy as far as the development of the plot and stories go, but I always find it interesting that he still chooses to incorporate all of these super old deleted concepts that were kind of just thought abandoned. I remember sitting in the theater and hearing Dr. Wu talk about incorporating public interest and in how they make their dinosaurs at the new park to be very surprising to me. That was something from the first novel that I thought would never get touched upon. And of course Spielberg's insistence that the dinosaur prices be lowered in Fallen Kingdom, as well as the plot being moved to California instead of London, and the streamlining of the boat scenes are all things he's been documented as having a hand in as well. With that being said, I have no doubt that the next entry in the series will also contain a lot of guidance by Spielberg, as well as mining from the Crichton novels. I'm not sure how much at this very moment, but I can personally say that I think it's going to be there no matter what. And this incorporation of the Lost World scene that he regretted not putting in the film so badly in 05 seems to be pretty good evidence of that. 
Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll all consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video guys, and as always, take it easy.